It's a new day. It's a new day. So, <clears throat> I measured the bridge on this. It's a 6.71K and the neck is 6.29K. Tuned up. I've adjusted the truss rod to the approximate area. I've adjusted the saddles down to the close to optimal um, action which it, it is in very 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 close right now So there is some buzzing. Um, I really hate those stamped saddles. I'm going to replace those. I've ordered a Dawnless pickup uh, for here. Hopefully it's a little beefier, a little fatter sounding. I haven't done anything about this pickup. And I've ordered a new pick guard. Haven't decided about the switch. I'm going to look in there. I'm, I'm sure it's a blade switch. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I'm going to replace it with a uh, four-way or a three-way. And while we're right here, let's open it up and, and see what's under there. What we're looking at, yep, box switch. Has a good feel to it though, one of the best feeling ones. It's got a really strong ball bearing plastic mechanism. Uh, we have an unbranded set of uh, dime pots. They feel good. They're likely 250s. So yep, that's what we've got under there. Uh, it has shielded braided hookup wire, which is nice. Uh, the cavity is not cluttered. Good news on the nut. The nut turned out to be a bone nut and not glued in so it moves back and forth so I didn't have to bang it out it just came right out of the slot it's slightly narrower than a standard fender nut which I, which I was going to put in there and um, I shaped the width of this nut, nut down uh, to be able to fit the slot snugly and then I realized that one's already a bone nut and the uh, action over the first string is good except for the low E I'm just going to need to touch the low E a tad um, and it'll be fine <clears throat> And that'll be good. It, it, can, it came with nines. So I guess we'll just uh, stick this stuff back in there. This, and this wire is very flexible too. Um, with, with the braid in it. It's very flexible. The wire the wire is going out to the pickup are just the black and the red single conductor. Uh, not braided. All right, so that's good. This fretboard looks nice. I'll uh, I'll end up hydrating it. They did do something with the edges because it does look rolled. They are very smooth already. It's uh, uh yeah, it's very very smooth. The entire fretboard. 
and it wasn't me, but that's the way I would, I would do it. So that part's good. Yay on Donna for that. Back of the neck is good. Feels nice. Satin everywhere. It passed QC. My G style said that too, but uh, I think they were QCing it with their eyes blindfolded. I have pre wired this. Uh, let's get it up in the light control panel with a push pull switch on the uh, tone. Uh, that will split the humbucker. Trouble bleed circuit will only act when it is um, got the uh, neck humbucker engaged. If it was on the volume control, it would work even for the Dawnless, and the Dawnless doesn't really need that on the bridge pickup. And uh, <clears throat> I decided on a 1000 ohm uh, Fralin resistor uh, that would uh, split it not to bring it down too low and a 22 cap on this side so that's all nice and neat on the switch itself one control and I need the hookups for the pickups and I need the hookup for the output jack and it'll be ready to go um, I've taken the pick guard off it's on the other bench I've gotten it uh, cleaned up shined up on uh, both sides. Uh, <laughs> the finish on the body is uh, I guess uh, I would say the best or the top of the best that I've gotten um, without a uh, there, there's no swirls, there's no imperfections that I can find anywhere except where they drill the holes for the uh, pick guard and the control panel again they they use those as uh, guides and um, just drilled it and put the screws in like they usually do no uh, of the sawdust no blowing the sawdust out and uh, and so it it stays underneath there and then it makes these little imperfections but they're hidden underneath the control panel the uh, the bridge needs to come off so I can uh, do the, the put the Dawnless in place of this uh, humbucker uh, uh, bridge pickup and uh, change out these saddles while I've got it off doing that and uh, clean up the fretboard and check for uh, frets if there's a problem with the fretboard which I presume there will be I'm going to remove the neck and work on it uh, as a separate uh, part for convenience uh, to be able to do that so that's the way it's uh, it's going from from this point forward. I uh, just uh, wanted to cut in here and give a little update on that. Um, I'm not necessarily again going to show all of this uh, work of checking fretboards and the like because it's been done. I found too many places on the fretboard, especially the uh, treble edges, that are uh, high high ended bouncing around so I'm going to remove the neck right away and uh, work on the two different parts independently now let's see if the neck pocket is tight or loose oh, it wasn't tight it wasn't loose it's a good fit this body looks like basswood And yeah, these holes definitely have to be made larger. Screws uh, bite well into the neck. So making those larger will uh, suck that up nice and tight. 
So I'm going to end up taping this up and uh, doing a full fret as I would normally do. Oh, look what I found when I uh, took the Donner bridge off. The plate uh, is copper looking, that's what's plated, and it just sticks to this bar magnet that's on the bottom here with the little ground wire. Cost cutting measures. I haven't had much experience with cheaper um, bridge pickups for tellies. And uh, oh, yeah, by the way, there was no uh, bridge grounding wire. Um, underneath there for this either. Say la visky. I'll have to add one. I finished the uh, mounting of the Dawnless bridge pickup on the bridge and when I had it off I realized that the holes in the body for the string throughs and the holes to hold down the bridge plate um, were not matching. Um, the pitch of the hole spacing in the body was narrower than the pitch of the holes for the string spacing in the bridge. So at the high E it started off okay and then progressively the gaps got narrower until I got to the low E. So to compensate for that I drilled out those holes a little bit larger um, so that I had a little bit more surface area and the string wouldn't get uh, jammed in there. Um, second thing that happened was the bridge saddles that I bought um, the beefier ones with the rollers on them didn't work. The, they were too large width-wise um, and the gap on the inside from where the string would come up from the hole to go over the roller was too narrow um, and it would have hit a cross member coming up before it would get to the roller and you don't want that happening at all. So they went out. So we went back to the originals and um, that's the way it went. All right the neck is also now done. Uh, just glued the neck uh, the nut in and uh, I just finished doing all of all the frets and uh, oiling with the Lehman oil and it's cleaned up and now that's waiting for the pick guard to come that will allow me to install the final pickup hook it all up together looky here it was just yesterday I recorded I'm waiting for the pick guard and then last night it was after midnight when I got a message on AliExpress messaging system saying did you get your pick card? And I'm thinking no. And then I went to the mailbox this morning and it actually was there. It was saying it was delivered. Let's see. Let's uh, get rid of that staple before something dangerous happens to my hand. Oh, the big reveal. I got that line pretty, pretty nice across there and maintained the, the curves in the corner with a, a round. I actually cut this off with a small saw blade. It was much better than trying to grind it and then just use the little stone, a fine stone. Okie dokie. It is strung, stretched a few times, tuned, and uh, it's ready to go. 
and uh, plug her in. All right, we are back at the ranch. All right, so here we go. We are 65 Deluxe, straight up. Uh, bridge position. Humbucker in split mode. And I noticed something which I didn't expect because this is the first time I've wired a four-way switch with a humbucker with and uh, a split coil and when you do that when you've got the humbucker split the way I've done it um, well it'll be that way all the time but um, in this particular case when it's down the half coil on the humbucker is in the circuit with the bridge and if you pull it to stop the tapping then the bridge gets brighter watch this <laughs> That sounds much warmer than it did when I tested it on the uh, lightning. But then, I'm thinking, how did that happen? And then I found out. Out of tune. Okay. It warms up when it's in the split mode. Even though I'm not asking for anything from the humbucker, the half the tap ends up going to ground in uh, half of that ends up in parallel with the bridge. And it warms it up without having to have any tone. But if you want the full raw bridge, you've got to pull that out to bypass this the uh, split. that I looked for a way to try to get around it the only way is not to use the center tap but I want to use the center tap for the humbucker so I'm saying it's an additional feature next position um, and when it's down remember uh, humbucker split I pull it up to boost it <laughs> In essence, position two and position one with the button down are the same. Not exactly the same. There's a little bit more brightness when it's here. A tad warmer when it's there. Series. sounds nice to my ears and then just a humbucker split by itself humbucker full So, that was 
was a feature I wasn't expecting. But, in my opinion, this is a pretty combination. And uh, I'm really loving it. It's uh, pretty nice, beautiful. So I want you to tell me in the comments how many of you out there would like a guitar like that. And I will uh, see how many say yes. If you don't want one, just don't bother saying no. But only the guys that want one say yes. Turned out just like I thought it would. Okay. We'll find a use for it. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.